G'day Libra, welcome to TJ Turn and Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's see what's going on, eh? Alright, yes, I know I've been having sound issues. I hope for you, this one is a little bit better. Um, the good news is I have ordered a new microphone. So hopefully that will arrive soon. Bad news is the postage here is a bit slow because of lockdowns and all that. So I don't know when it's going to arrive because everybody's ordering stuff online because, yeah, they can't get out to the shops. So the shops are closed. Um, yeah, so please bear with me until that arrives. I am going to try and have a different setup. I know this is a bit different this time, but hopefully the sound's better with this. So, But yeah, anyway, please bear with me. I am trying to fix all the problems here. <laughs> All right, so this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, also, you might want to check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates there more with you in your current timeline. Cross watches, please, bleh, bleh, please <laughs> be aware that if this is not your energy, this is someone else. So don't go cracking it. I'm not like that. That's not me. Me, me, me. No, it's not you. It's someone else. So, you know, keep that in mind. All right. And thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, and views. They are all greatly appreciated, every single one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excuse my nails. I haven't fixed them. Ugh. Thought the readings are more important than my nails looking perfect so yeah um and last thing i will be listing the decks that i'm using in this video in the description box below as i did with the last video all right let's get into it message for libra is uh oh past life relationship you've known each other before oh, you all probably just clicked off right then didn't you but I mean, as it says, it could be someone from a past life. You just feel like you've known each other before. So this doesn't necessarily have to be someone from the past. This could also be telling you that, you know, there might be something that you haven't cleared up with the past. Is this stuff you need to look at with the past, that you need to sort out with the past to close out that cycle? All right. Love energy coming towards Libra. Three cards, please. What can you tell us? Love energy. What is it? All right, we got one in here. There's two. One more. Whoa. Well, it dropped half the deck then. <laughs> uh, oh, now. I'm only going to take the one that's at the bottom that makes three. So this is number four. I haven't seen it, and you're not going to see it either. Because <laughs> I've only taken three. All right. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So someone's retreating either from you or they want to retreat with you. Disconnect from the world and retreat with you. Ooh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Someone's releasing their ex. This could be that ex is retreating, finally. Well, no. They're clearing energy from any of their exes anyway. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So they want to make the effort here with you. So someone else might have retreated from you while they release the energy of their ex. Before they come in and make that effort. But we'll find out, won't we? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So they're letting their friends help them get through this. They do want to express some love to you. They want that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and, oh, no. 
Someone from your past is returning. Someone wants to reconcile with you, reconcile their differences with a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and express some love. And they've been checking up with their friends and your friend, or well, mutual friends to see what the go is with you. Oh, Libra. Now you had a lot of drama with this ex in the previous readings. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, there's obviously still some connection here between you two. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in your reading. Message for you is Six of Swords. Move into calmer waters. Yeah, you've got to get to calmer waters with this person. You've got to move to calmer waters with this person and discuss these things that haven't been discussed. Speak the truths. Cut the crap. <laughs> and speak your truth. With this person. Yeah. You definitely need to sort this out because it's going to keep coming up, Libra. I'm sorry, it's going to keep coming up. What's your message here? Yeah, you're holding on to this. Because this person does make you happy. But it's got to transform. It's got to change. Something's got to change here. You've got to put the past to, to bed. It's got to be ended. You've got to sort out those issues and put them in the past. You do make each other happy. And you're still holding on. Or you're holding back from telling them that they're, you're their happiness. Look, we've got judgment under the deck. You want to reconcile as, just as much as they do. So, yeah, you want to charge in in that horse and offer that cup of love. All right. Well, all the ones that don't want this ex back, <laughs> I've just lost all of you, haven't I? <laughs> Is there anyone left watching this video? <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go. Why is retreat here for the love energy coming towards Libra? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, they came out. Alright, I don't take reversals. Seven of Swords, uh-oh, and the Six of Pentacles. Mm. Cheating, lying, stealing, and, well, could be breadcrumbing, being it's with this card. Well, that could just be them sneaking off, retreating. They're snuck away from you because they weren't making things balanced. Or someone had to retreat because there was cheating, lying, stealing. They were made to retreat. It wasn't balanced. I'm getting strongly that breadcrumbing. This scale isn't really jumping out at me, but this is. Mm. Someone had, they had to retreat because there was cheating, lying, stealing and breadcrumbing. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It can be slow and steady movement forward with stability, but I'm getting this wasn't going anywhere. There was no action instability. The horse is standing still, and I don't think it's it was going anywhere. That's why they retreated, or they were made to retreat. Whichever way it goes, you'll know. Bottom of the deck, three of pentacles. Could have been a third party here. Yeah, someone could have been juggling. Mm. Working hard at that juggling, causing confusion here and an illusion. Someone could have had either options here and worked really hard to juggle them all. Mm. I don't know who's who here. I'm not getting that clear. Well, it could have been them. Most likely it could have been them that was juggling everything and they were made to retreat because they cheated. We'll just say it that way. If you know it's the opposite, that's fine. You take it as the opposite. But I'm going to... This is a Libra wording, so... And this is the energy coming in, so... 
That's how I'm going to read it. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. Because uh, we've got the Knight here. Yeah, money. Stability, long-term stability, the marrying kind. Mastered their element. Good money, good house, good clothes. Living in that castle. Hmm. Was it that they were all about that money? Did they steal. Did they steal money from you, Libra? Alright. Tell me about release your ex for the love energy coming towards the Libra. We have the Seven of Cups and the Five of Cups. Yeah, they're trying to release that energy of, well, it could be the other options that they had. Because it ended up being a disappointment to them. Releasing that ex, the, the energy of the ex that was still hanging around while they were with you. Well, there was just confusion and illusion and it was just a disappointment. They're trying to release that now. The sun, they see the clarity in that now. They see clearly that, you know, that energy has to go. The confusion, the illusions, the disappointments, if they want happiness, they, they've got to let all that go. Or else they've realised that you see that clearly now, that there was an X still in the picture. Bottom of the deck, page of ones, uh, Aries Leo, Sag Energy, Justice, chill card, Libra. Don't normally say that with the majors, but that's your card. The Tower and the Ace of Cups. <sighs> yeah. I'm getting that they were possibly speaking to other people. Passionate messages here. Pages of messages. Ones are action and passion. So, you know, they were actively, passionately messaging someone else here. And Justice stepped in here and brought a tower down on that. That's They're being released possibly from their, from someone else and being made an ex. That tower came down on them. And now they're trying to offer you love and send little messages to you. <laughs> trying to control the situation here? I don't think so. I don't think you're going to take it. Yeah. They want to charge in here and try and offer be that stable person now. Uh, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now they want to charge in, try and speak some truth to get that stability back again. They see clearly what they need to release. Mm. Tell me about make the effort for the love energy coming towards the Libra. We have all oh, that page of cups and the five of pentacles. Again, this I'm getting, I don't know who's who here because I'm getting two messages. They're going to make the effort to apologize for leaving you out in the cold, or they're making the effort to apologize because they want to come in out of the cold. Could be both. Did they leave you out in the cold and go off with someone else? Or did you leave them out in the cold because they went off with some... Yeah. Because they hadn't released their ex, so you were like, see you later. And they want to come back and apologise for that. Or they want to apologise and come in out of that cold. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. That... They want to speak that truth. They want to make an effort to clear things out. 
speak truth and clarity to you. Which, you know, with this, I think they are going to make an effort to speak the truth, but I don't know if you'll want to take them back. They want to clear that air. The only love here is a page of cups. The other two are um, confusion, illusion options and disappointment, even though there are two cups standing here. Um, and the sun does trump them, so that would mean that, you know, they're hoping this love is still there between you two, but I don't know. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. Yeah, they know. They missed their opportunity with you. Too busy looking at three other cups, the three cups that got spilt here. They, they miss out on you. Aries, Leo, say, uh, no, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. I always say Aries because it's air. <laughs> air. Um, mm, yeah. They want to charge forward. Yeah, possibly with a gift and an apology. They do want this to charge forward triumphantly, but they know that they play head games here. It was mind games. It was win at any cost. It was sabotage. They sabotaged this. They want to charge in and speak some sort of truth and say that they've cut this out and they want to move forward now. But I think they've missed, they know they've missed their opportunity. That's why they're trying to get their friends to help them get away in to you. Yeah, they had to retreat. Because they weren't getting anywhere with that lying that they were doing. Giving to others. And they're saying now that they've released them, they've released those up as other opportunities, but only because of the disappointment that they got. Because they got left. They became an ex to the other person. Mm. Message for you is it's time to take action. Yeah, like I was saying before, Libra, you've got to take some action here. Hear them out. Let them speak their truth. Let them make that effort. And then you make your decision. Are you going to cut them out? Or are you going to... Well, it's up to you. But, yeah, you want this energy gone out of your readings? You've got to clear this out. It's time to take that action here. Clear out that energy. If you don't want... If you want this person back, well, that's up to you. They'll, they're coming in to make an effort, so you can take them back. But if you don't want them to keep coming up in your readings, if you don't want them back... I suggest you take that action and clear this up once and for all. All right. Oof, sorry, I <laughs> didn't mean to tell you off there. <laughs> felt a bit, felt a bit. Now you just do this. <laughs> all I'm saying is if you're sick of seeing this in your readings, you have to do something. So, yeah. And don't let, there's a message for you, and don't let the past hold you back. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what it's doing. It's stopping you, love, from coming in if that's what you want. All right. Love energy coming towards Libra. What else can you tell us? Three cards, please. One. Two. One more, please. we go we have for them step out of your comfort zone hmm. I'm getting the feeling they got pushed out of their comfort zone they were probably quite comfortable with you but I think you shoved them out meditate and contemplate new meaning Pisces um, yeah they've had a lot to think about and a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Hmm. This is what they're thinking. That they'll get a win-win here with you. Bottom of the deck is nothing will come of this situation. Void of course moon. Bring love into the situation. It's definitely a situation here. Time for healing. 
And luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. It's a balsamic moon, new moon in Aquarius, and of course, void of course moon. So they're hoping love, luck is on their side. They're hoping that they can. this is the time that they can heal this if they just bring love into the situation. But they're aware that nothing will come of this. I don't think anything's going to really change here. Well, they're thinking that nothing will come of this situation, even if they do bring love in and try and heal this. Oh, Libra. Hmm. All right, message for you is <coughs> the moon. Fears, the unknown, secrets, in the shadows. <coughs> this is how you see this relationship. There's fear here. Sorry, I've got to get a sip of drink. Oh, that's better. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen here. You, that you have fears about how, where this is going to go. You know that there's secrets here that you don't know about. Yeah, you you don't know what's going to happen with this. It's all unknown to you. And there's emotions involved here too. The moon can... Well, the moon does affect your emotions. Um, but there's water here as well. So, you know, I'm getting that, the, you know, there's, there's emotions involved in this. For both of you. Yeah. But yeah. You want this to be healed so you can celebrate your life again. What's peaking out there. But you just don't know if you can trust this person is what I'm getting. Yeah. yeah that cycle has to be closed out. What you begin the new cycle with or without this person is up to you, but you've got to close out this old cycle. Let them come forward, make that effort, speak that truth, and you speak your truth too. Yeah, trust your instincts on this. Because you're going to keep manifesting this, you know, the same thing if you... I think you're going to have to keep your instincts on, trust your instincts and possibly even keep your mouth shut about what you are what you want to manifest here. If you're not interested in them being part of it. Alright. Tell me about step out of your comfort zone for the love energy coming towards Libra. The Justice, here's your card again, Libra. And we've got the Seven of Cups again. I'm getting, for them to step out of their comfort zone, means they need to balance things with you and give up those other options. Or it's going to be hard for them to step out of that comfort zone to balance things with you because there's too much confusion and illusion here. They're living in a fantasy. And for things to be balanced, there's going to have to be... Yeah, there'll be happiness and new beginnings, but there's going to be cold, have to be cold hard truth here as well. And I don't think that they can do that. I'm getting that they're in a fantasy land. Five of Pentacles. They know that they're gonna have. They're most likely gonna get left out in the cold. Cold. Nothing will come of this situation. Because they've caused too many burdens, and it's burdening them. Yeah, that they've been left out in the cold here. 
They'd normally say that with the hermit, but he is heading into a cave and it's snowing. It looks pretty cold. And he's alone, this hermit. Yeah, because of the secrets. How can you have this new beginning? Yeah, when there's competition, there's been competition in the past, conflict in the past. How can they have how can you have this new beginning with this person when there's still secrets? And for them to step out of their comfort zone is only because they're out in the cold and it's a burden for them to be alone. Oh, Libra. Please, don't take in... I mean, a wounded animal is different because once you heal them, they will go off on their own. But don't take in someone just because they've got no one else, nowhere else to go. Don't be a doormat. In, yep, temporarily helping them, but in the long run you're not because they don't learn to stand on their own two feet. Hmm. Look, they've got five of pentacles twice here. They're making the effort because they don't want to be out in the cold. They'll step out of that comfort zone because they don't want to be in this uncomfortable area. But yeah, there's conflict here. There's, they're conflicted about it because they know. All right, tell me about meditate and contemplate for this love energy coming towards Libra. I'm so sorry your readings are like this. But obviously this is what... I'm sorry. Two of Wands. You need to clear your energy <laughs> Uh, the Knight of Swords, this is your energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And the Hangman. Okay, so yeah, they've had to do some thinking. Yeah, some serious thinking. And seeing this from a different perspective. Because, yeah, they don't know where to go. They don't know which way to go. They're trying to work out the best way to approach this. They want to charge in full power and tell you this this truth about whatever this is but I'm not feeling it's really true but because they're stuck they're thinking about how's the best way to come towards you maybe if I just come in you know telling them what they want to hear mm, but I don't know I don't want to be stuck though what they're thinking about. Two of Pentacles, how can I juggle this? They're juggling something still. Oh, Libra, what's going on? King of Wands, Aries Leo, Sag Energy, Ten of Swords, The Devil, and The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this is the thing. As much as they want to work together with you on this, they know there's toxic energy here. It's not right. It's just going to be another painful ending between you two because they haven't matured as far as their passions and actions go. This is what they need to do. Master their passions and their actions. Until they do that, it's just going to be another painful ending it's going to turn toxic again, and then what? You're going to try and work on things again, and then it's going to go round and round and round and round and round. As much as she's want to heal this, it's just going to end in pain. Because it's not going anywhere. It's standing still. It's not moving forward fast enough. It's, it's stable, but it's not moving forward. And that's where the frustration comes in. Because it's not moving from the knight to the queen to the king. It's just sitting at the knight. When the knight's just standing there. And that's why it does their head in. And does your head in. It just stresses you out. And you just end up fighting. Oh, Libra. Big hugs to you. Big hugs to you. 
I mean, this is a love energy reading, so I know there is love here, but... Mm. All right, tell me about a win-win outcome is forecast for the new love energy coming towards Libra. Tell me about this win-win outcome that they perceive. Wow. We get the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We get the Ten of Swords again. We get that Devil again. And now we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. Yeah. So there's that king, which I'm getting this is what they see you as. This is what they see you as, Libra. They see you as stable, grounded, dependable, reliable, stacked up with your coins, doing well for yourself, a catch. Someone that's stable and would be awesome to be a marriage partner. And, and yeah. But all it is, is a painful ending for you, a painful ending for them, because it just turns toxic all the time. Again, because it doesn't move forward. As much as they might want to do this stable action, the legs aren't moving here. And like, really, if you're the king, no gender here. You could be the queen, <laughs> or the king, but like, you know. But... A king and a knight? That's like a parent and child. Or a father and son. Like what, do you have to be the parent to this teenager? Because it's not adult energy, but it's not child energy like the pages. But it's not a counterpart. Do you have to mother this person and they just keep... You know, it's just going to be a painful ending again. But there's this lust and passion here between you two. But it's, I mean, there could be an age difference, but I think it's more um, maturity-wise than physical age. They think you're going to take care of everything because you're, you know, you're doing fine. They're still learning, but it just ends in pain because... It's toxic between you two. There might be passion. But all you do is hurt each other. Oh, Libra. See, it's a win-win for them. Because they get you to take care of them. And they get their passion. But what's the win for you? I mean, you get the passion, but then it's it's just painful ending after painful ending. Do you get them back? Do you really... Do you, I mean, is the tie between you two that strong? Can this be finally over and dead and put to rest? All this toxicity between you two? Will you finally move forward together with stability? Well, someone needs to grow up. of the deck is that eight of swords it's all this this is all they think about I mean it's stuck in their head they're not thinking clearly here they do want this to end but I'm I'm sorry Libra I'm seeing this as someone that wants you to take care of them which is a win-win for them but I'm not seeing it a win for you juggling and playing games they think this is a game queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy the queen of love best love in the deck so i mean there is this love for you 
they do want to start again. Passionate new beginning because they do see you as a soulmate. But there's a choice to be made here. Is it all going to be just about passion? Are they acting like a fool? Because this is, you know, there could be real love here. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, it's just, I just feel, ugh. Look, this is hard energy for you. It's hard energy for them too. Because there's love, but it's just not right. It's not, yeah. See, separation, you have separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. And this is the thing. Yeah, you're in separation from each other. You do miss them and you think about them and you possibly even yearn for them with that passion there. But the future's unsure. You don't know. You know, that's the cause of the separation as well because the future's not sure with you two. Like, I mean, nobody's future is set in stone. Well... Unless you believe in certain fates. But like, you know. But you're not even sure if there is going to be a future with this person. If there can be a future. Well, that's what I'm feeling it, that you feel anyway. It's the energy I'm getting. All right. Love energy coming towards Libra. Give me three, at least three cards. What else can you tell us about them? We have the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. See, and, and that was why they had to retreat, because someone was doing that. Off you go, mate, you're released. The boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues, yeah, see. They want to come in to get what they need from you. But then they're going to move on. But there's still closure issues between you two and they know that they can't move on because they you give them what they need. And relationships don't work if it's all about need. They're, it, Really, you shouldn't need anything from anybody else. You should be able to take care of your own stuff. But you should want to be with someone, not need to be. Like, need is, well, when you're a child, you need to live with your parents. Mm. And then we have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So they want this to be committed. They do want a commitment with you. But what are they committing to? A oh my god, you can't make this up. Abundance. This is what I just, we just answered the question, didn't we? Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Are they? They want to commit to your abundance. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power, and your protection. Yeah, because they're wearing a false mask here. And this is, this is their outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in their head. That's all they can think about. But they're wearing a mask here. They're not telling you that truth. What do they want to commit to? Your abundance. Because you're abundant. You're doing awesome, Libra. They want to... Um, they're comfortable in that. But unfortunately, you know, you might care about each other and there might be love here, but you're not good for each other. Because someone's not doing the right thing. And your message is, I'm not ready to be with you yet. No. And they're not ready to be with you yet. They've got some growing up to do here. <sighs> I 
Yeah. And you're not ready to take on their responsibility again yet. No, no way. They need to prove themselves to you. No, you're not ready for that crap. You're not ready for another round in the ring. Like, really. No. And I don't, I don't know if you'll ever be ready to go around that roller on that roller coaster ride again. Like, no, you're not ready for that. <laughs> no one should have to be ready for that. It's it's not fair. God, just made me see the justice card, which is your card with the scales on it. It's not balanced. You just got some extra messages here. You got, please contact me. Ooh, you, ooh, I got a vibe off that that you want to get this over with. I love you. And you are so hot. So, you know, you love them. And they turn you on, like, you know. You do want to speak to them, though. Hmm, what is it that you, well... You know what you're saying, I guess. I wish I'd have treated you better. Okay, maybe you didn't treat them the best because... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't go on a guilt trip now, Libra. Alright, love energy coming towards Libra. What would they like Libra to know? Or to tell Libra? At least three cards, please. So, we got from them, I'm not ready to be with you yet. So, they're the same. They're not ready yet either. They know, you know, they know what they're doing. They're stressing, you know, they're not ready because they haven't worked out all the way to step out of their comfort zone and get this win with you. I wish things were different. Hmm. They probably do, but they're not. So, you know, this is the thing. I was raised not to show emotion. Okay, I'm feeling like that's an excuse. I can't give you what you want. And there we go. Yeah, they can't give you what you want. It's, um, I just feel this is going round and round and round. And they're not ever going to give be able to give you what they want. What you want. It's a bit painful doing this because I know there's love here. I wish I had treated you better. See? They know they didn't do the right thing. I'm scared I'll get hurt so I run. Mm, well, hurt people hurt people, as they say. That's why they've got that problem with the commitment. Well, well, yeah. That's why they retreat. Run off with someone else. Look at other options because, oh, I might get hurt here, so I better. Mm. And I've hidden my love for you. Well, we did get the mask under that deck there, but. Not showing emotions, hiding their love. Not treating you the best. They can't give you what you want. Yeah, they're, they're definitely not ready. And look, we've got I am not available. Yeah, I can't right now. We can work it out. And lying was easier than telling the truth. So they definitely lied. They think that they can work things out with you. They can't right now because they're not available. They're with someone else. They're still trying to release their ex to come back to you. Libra, I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. I'm going to have to shake off this energy before I do another reading. All right. Oh. Oh, it's really heavy. It's part heartbreak and it's part anger. Or oh, dis disappointment and oh, it's just oh. So big hugs to you, Libra. Big hugs to you. This Oh, this is horrible. Mm. Oh, mwah. hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses, you be strong, oh this is horrible, oh I hope you get this sorted soon, alright, 
I don't know if you're going to like it, but please, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, yeah, we'll do another reading soon. Very soon. And see where this goes, hey. See if we can get... Hopefully the energy will change by then. All right, well, all the best. Good luck. Take care. And I'll catch you later.